It's now time for Remember When with Uncle John. John Guess, Washita County's resident storyteller and local historian. Sit back now and enjoy a walk down memory lane as John recalls the days of yesteryear in his own unique way. You never know, some of it might even be true. So here's Uncle John, along with his trusty sidekick, Kelly Blair. Back on Remember When with Uncle John. Well, here we are, done made it to finish line Friday and around here these parts. That means there is a top tune to be talked about. Lay it on us, Johnny. Well, you know, we've been kind of stuck in a rut here on this southern rock and roll, you know. Oh, it's uh, not Gary, a bad rut to be in. No, though. Gary Roxton died a few weeks ago, you know, and we... We covered Skinner last week, you know, mm-hmm. but uh, I've discovered blackberry smoke. No. Oh. Now, my kids had told me about them in the, a couple of years ago, and I haven't paid much attention. But I was surfing through YouTube one day, and I found blackberry smoke. They redid the famous Almond Brothers song, Midnight Rider. Midnight Rider. I drew a blank on it. I there, understand. You know? But uh, the great thing about this video, the great thing about this song, the great thing about their version of it, Charlie Starr, the lead singer, is playing Dwayne Almond's 57 Les Paul gold top guitar. Wow. Now, I don't know how he got it. I don't know where he got it at, but he's playing Dwayne Almond's song, uh, guitar. And Dwayne Almond is the chief architect of Southern Rock and Roll. Yes. The guy was 25 when he was killed in a motorcycle wreck mm-hmm. in 1971. And he invented Southern Rock and Roll. The Almond Brothers, and of course, Leonard Skinner and Molly Hatchett and, 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 you know, Marshall Tucker and all them. But Dwayne Almond invented it. Yeah. And that's his guitar playing. And that's it. it, it I mean, it's a great version of it. It sounds, it's, it just gives me, it, it makes the hair on my neck stand up every time I listen to it. There's definitely some magic still left in that guitar. Because when you first told me, you know, yeah, these old boys redid Midnight Rider. I was like, I don't know, man. You know, you don't, don't mess with the originals, you know, and all that. These guys ain't bad. They're good. they good. Now, I'm telling you, if they come to Arkansas, I'm going to see them. Yeah, we're dropping everything. I'm going, if they come anywhere close to Arkansas, I'm going to see them. The, you know, and I've got to watching them on YouTube. They've done a lot of covers. They've covered a lot of songs. They've got some original stuff, but they're good. There you go. And I'm telling you, you get to where you think, well, there ain't nobody coming down the pike no more. These boys ain't far off now. When they come to Arkansas or they come anywhere close, we go and see them. There you go. And we're going to cover them for the radio station. Oh, that's what I'm and talking about. And we might get them at Guest Fest when we decide to do Oh, it again. look out. There you, you go. You never know. Absolutely. All right. Well, it definitely gives us something to talk about here on Top Tune Friday. And remember, when you hear that last, you know, rock and roll consists of two guitars. It's either a Fender or a Les Paul. There you go. You know, a, a Gibson Les Paul. Now, Fender, you know, they got the Stratocasters and the Telecasters. But let me tell you now, I grew up. Listen to Jimmy Johnson out here across the river. He's got a he's got a Les Paul. Yep. And let me tell you, when you walk in a bar, if you got your eyes closed, you can tell that Les Paul. Nothing sounds like a Les Paul. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, when you listen to this this morning, close your eyes, think about them long mutton chop sideburns of Dwayne Almond and that long great that long blonde hair, and think about him playing that that Les Paul. Makes Pretty you, good stuff. It just gives you chill. It does me. Absolutely. All right. Well, uh, that's going to wrap up Remember When with Uncle John, not only for the day, but for the week. But we'll be right back here, ready to do it all over again next week. I guess we'll see you then, John. See you next week, Kelly. You've been listening to Remember When with Uncle John on Y95. This broadcast can be heard each weekday morning at 645 on South Arkansas's favorite station, Y95.